All right, friends, we are going to make a neck warmer, but before we do, here's Trip. Say hi. All right, so to start with, we are going to cast on and uh, do 10 rows of scrap yarn. If you're not really sure how to cast on, because I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part, I'm going to link the other video that I made that just shows just this part, just how to cast on. I'll have a linkable card as well as a link in the description. So if you've been looking at the counter on the left there, you'll see that we have reached our 10 rows. And so now we are going to switch to our main yarn. Hook it around there, put it through the guide and the tensioner, and then we can start cranking. We are going to do about 90 rows of this main color. So we're just going to crank, 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 crank until we get there. Okay, and once you've hit your 90 rows, you can go ahead and give yourself a long tail here and then cut off the end of your yarn, pull it out of the tensioner, out of the guide, and just pop it right into the center there. We are going to want to do another 10 rows of the waist yarn, so we're going to go ahead and switch colors right now and then go for another 10 rows. And now it's time to cast off. In this case, because we did use waste yarn, all we're gonna do is take that end of that yarn, put it right in the middle, and then crank, crank, crank until it falls right off. Your final step is taking this tube and, and turning it into the actual neck warmer by connecting the ends here. So what you're gonna do is take your crochet hook and you are going to slip stitch all the way around. Then you can remove your waist yarn. This is where my camera died. But anyway, here's the neck warmer. And here's another shot of Trip. Happy knitting.